Hey guys, welcome back. Oh my God, it's been a while. I'm so sorry I haven't created any new videos for you guys, um, but I do have a series of new videos lined up that I'm gonna be releasing in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Diane. I make Photoshop brushes, um, drawing tools for designers, creative people, and most recently, I just converted um, my Photoshop brushes into Procreate brushes, uh, specifically digital tie-dye, yes digital tie-dye. So I'm gonna go ahead and link below this video uh, so you can check it out on Creative Market, that's where I sell them. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I did want to walk you through, um, and for also um, people who already have purchased the brush set, I wanted to walk them through how to use it, how to set it up in Procreate. Um, and so let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so after you download the Procreate digital tie-dye bundle as zip file, once you unzip it, there's gonna be a PDF um, Procreate guidebook on how to install uh, these brushes. So if you scroll down, there's two different ways that you can do it. I always recommend people to download the product zip files um, onto your desktop. And then once you have that unzipped, what I would recommend doing is to upload the dot brush set files, there's like four of them in there, to your Dropbox file so that when you open it up in your iPad, you'd have to open up the Dropbox app and I can walk you through those steps. So once you're in Dropbox, go ahead and locate the dot brush set file. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the three dots and then you're gonna click on export and then you're gonna look for procreate. So let's go ahead and copy to procreate. And then now, once you're in your procreate document, you'll see it at the very top as the spirals volume two brush sets. All right, so once you're there, you can go ahead and choose the brushes you want. I like to choose the spiral loop large or the spiral loop upside down. And then I'll choose one of the colors that I have here already. And then I'll go ahead and tap with the Apple Pencil. And then I'll click on the arrow at the top left. Um, and then I'll resize it a little bit and then uh, rotate it around um, just so that um, you know I can get different compositions um, and this is kind of like my go-to brush uh, this is one of my favorite brushes you can do so many things with it so um, for now I'll just put it right here on this right side I don't like things that are a little too right in the center um, I think it makes for an interesting composition when it's um, just not in the middle and um, somewhere out of place um, and then the other um, color that I'll choose um, I'll choose a lighter color uh, for the next one and then um, let's see here so I can choose a spiral loop large and then for this one I'll put it in a separate layer uh, just so that I can move it around so I'll tap it whoops so do you see how I got a double um, you can go to undo on the bottom um, left corner and then tap it again and then you'll get something a little bit lighter but if you tap it um, again a little bit harder uh, you'll get like a double so try to keep the pencil straight there we go and then I'll get the arrow tool I forget what that's called um, but you can resize it just a little bit and then on the bottom there's the flip horizontal or vertical um, and so in this case I'm going to try horizontal to see how that looks um, and then you can resize it Place it in other areas. Um, then you can kind of just move it around, um, you know, to get the composition that you like. Um, I kind of chose two colors that are a little bit similar, um, but not to worry. You can go back to the layers um, palette and click on N, and you can lower down the opacity so you have more of a contrast there. 
Um, and then you can also uh, create a new layer and then look for, um, so the other go-to brush that I like is the bottom teeth. And this is super cool. So I'm going to go back to the darker color here. And then I'm going to put it on a separate layer. And I'm just going to tap the screen. And then I'll choose the arrow tool again. And then I'll just kind of flip it um, to make it look like it connects with um, the darker spiral here. And so you can um, enlarge the shape a little bit. That's why I like to put it on separate layers. Even in Photoshop, um, when I work on new patterns, I like to put everything in separate layers just so that you have more options as far as like moving it around. And then what's cool is that you can also duplicate this layer. So if you swipe it to the right or to the left and duplicate the layer and then go back to the arrow tool. I would move it down, rotate it a little bit, and then you can kind of uh, start forming your spirals here and connecting them. And then you'll kind of start seeing how it's looking like. But yeah, it's super fun. I would have fun with it. Oh, and you see this little corner here? So what I would suggest is duplicating it before you move it to the corner. Um, and so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because it just looks funky. So we'll go ahead and create a new layer and then go back to the brush tool. Whoops. So we'll go ahead and tap the screen and then choose the arrow tool to rotate it and then uh, move it around to get the desired look that we want to get. And then, so yeah, it's starting to look like um, a spiral pattern. Um, and then you can choose other brushes. My other uh, go-to brushes are the right diagonal teeth. Um, and then for that one, we can kind of connect it to the lighter wave on the inside. So. We'll go ahead and um, paint that in. So just tap the screen anywhere. And then we'll move it over to the other side, enlarge it. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, gonna be slightly different from the Photoshop ones um, because this is on an iPad. Um, but I think it's still just as fun. And if you start something on the iPad, uh, just keep in mind that if you wanted to finish this off in Photoshop, you can totally do that. You can share PSD and you can export it, send it to yourself. You can also uh, continue it in Photoshop as well. Um, anyways, uh, let me know. Um, what your creations look like. Feel free to send me a link below. I'd love to see what you guys create. Well, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found this content useful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.